Today is a great day here at 42 Berlin. We're gonna host an event right here in a couple of minutes about generative AI with a wonderful panel of our partners. But first, I'm gonna steal five minutes out of Jean-Philippe Coutois' time and ask him a few questions. Let's go. So Philippa, we are in your school, 42 Berlin right here. What does life look like here for you, Philippa? Earlier this year, I decided that maybe I should try something else. And I had actually previously tried to learn how to code, oh. uh, but that didn't work out that well. But work kind of fell through yeah. and this was my opportunity. Like the time is now. So Great. I did a boot camp and that's kind of how I ended up here. There are no, no teachers, hmm. only students, yep. only the internet. And that's how you, you learn. And you really learn through other people. And mm. uh, it has especially been inspiring for me, seeing all the different women here uh, from all different backgrounds, it's like how we kind of all yep. ended up here. Yep. Uh, and it's, I think it's really, really important just to see uh, equal opportunities for everyone and leveling the playing field. It's like 27% of the jobs globally of any company using mm -hmm. tech talents are female. Exactly. So I'm super excited to see that Berlin 42, I think it's almost yeah. half or more. In my opinion, was we reach parity. To see all the truly inspiring stories of everyone, you know, single yeah. mothers and still trying to code and still trying to break into tech and making it, that's that's truly really inspiring. And how about you? Like, how were you as a, as a student? Wow, I have to go back a few years back, Philippa. Mm -hmm. But as a student, you know, I, I did actually a business school first. Mm -hmm. But through the business school, um, I found out that I, I got in love with the personal computer. We mm -hmm. are not born. That was in the early 80s. And I was lucky enough, as I left the business school one year after, to be called and, and I was told, oh, there's this uh, young startup, you know, building operations in France called Microsoft. At the time, Microsoft was less than a thousand people go away. I know. And how, how do things change, especially now with AI? It's like, why is AI so different than yeah. whatever else happened before? I've been privileged in a way to, to see four ways of innovation in 40 years. The first one I just talked about, the first species in the world. Then a few years after came the internet and the browser, which was like, wow. We can navigate the world, we can crawl into the world. Then you have the third wave, of course, is mobile, smartphone, mm -hmm. and the cloud as a backend yeah. to provide all the beautiful services and apps you use on the phone. I think with uh, generative AI, what's going on is pretty amazing. It's really two breakthroughs coming together. You've got this natural user interface, which is the yeah. conversation, with another breakthrough, which is the reasoning engine, as you know well, mm -hmm. because I'm sure you're doing a lot of developments around AI. <laughs> and so as you connect those two things together, then you get the magics of ChatGPT, or as a developer with GitHub Copilot, as an example example that yeah. you may want to use to be more productive on coding. That is true. It has become amazing to see in one year all the scenarios that have been happening to the world. In public services, in business, in NGOs, in social innovation. Wow. As a new coder, uh, I would have to say that those AIs yeah. are very helpful. Um, and at least for learning in general, I would for say. Sure. Not just the copy code, especially because we're learning C, so it's, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a tough one. It's, it's tough. a tough one. AI tools uh, have been a blessing, a godsend. So, what is your future plan? What, what is it that you love to do? What is what is on your mind? The possibilities are, are huge. Huge. Uh, and it's also what 42 brings us. It's do I want to become a, like cybersecurity? Yeah. Do I want to be a web developer? Yes. Do I want to do data after yes. all? Uh, maybe. maybe, maybe I'll be good at one of those, maybe I will not, but I would like to try. 42 gives you the opportunity to expand and to broaden your horizons and yes. to really just like go for it and pave yeah. your own path. Yes. Uh, especially learning C gives you that. For oh, sure. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I mean, I will, for now, I'm focusing full time studying. Yep. And, um, but, so I will continue to do until I find a job and then we'll see. If, do I want to work back end, front end? Who knows? Many, many opportunities <laughs> ahead of you. Wonderful.